Y'all remember that one time I said I was only gonna post vlogs on my channel and I randomly came on and played the Stanley Parable? Well, now you fucking do, because that's what I'm doing. I still, to this day, how long have I been doing YouTube? Like, two, two years? Two and a half years. I have no idea what I want my YouTube channel to be. Most YouTube channels have, like, a, uh, you know, a concentrated area of content that they could consistently put out. I don't have that, but I'm at the point, I don't even fucking care anymore. I don't care. This is my home on the internet. I enjoy making YouTube videos when I just don't know what I'm going to make. That's when I shine. That's when I love doing it. So, I don't know. If I want to play a game one day, I'm just going to play a game. If I want to vlog, I'm going to fucking vlog. If I want to fucking cook a steak or chicken, I'm going to cook a fucking steak or chicken. And I'm going to stop saying the F word so much so the kitties can watch too. All right, here we are. This is going to be this is gonna be fun. We're having fun. You're having fun, right? This is, yeah, it's fun. Anyway, oh, by the way, don't, don't mind the background. It's not going to stay like that. I'm working on getting a green screen. I know I had the black backdrop it was kind of ghetto i'm gonna get like a legit setup it's happening within the next like two weeks maybe two or three weeks i'll have a green screen anyway let's just let's start now see i already know exactly what i want to do i remember the last workers were gone what could it mean stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo didn't miss a fucking memo I know what I want to do. I want to stay in that broom closet I was in the last time I played, because apparently that's like, that's the coolest thing to do. It's the coolest ending. I almost had it, but then I, I um, I didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> I fucked it up. I don't remember how to get there though. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this shut your mouth. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Your employees yes, suck. Truly a room worth admiring, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, I'm lost, dude. <laughs> Where was the broom closet? I forgot how to get there. Oh, no. Did I take the left, or did I go straight? If I walk through, the door's gonna close. Oh, God, I gotta make a decision. Is it the one where I jumped off? Maybe it's the one where I jumped... No, I think it's this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm screwed. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To Shut your mouth. To your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, I remember this. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. No, I'm unplugging this bitch. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> He's on to us. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. 
I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Don't you fucking do that. This helpful instructional video. My YouTube comments told me Choice. to. Oh. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What the fuck is going on? What? Do I get the- Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Give me that lighter. I'm going to let this bitch ah, burn. Oh. Back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. And see huh? what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. No, 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 no. Fuck that. I'd rather stay here. That's got to be part of the... That's got to be part of the game, right? You can always disobey him if you want. I don't want to go. Just want to see if maybe he says... Like, get the fuck out or something. You think he's going to say anything? Yeah, okay. I'll just go. So whatever. This way? Okay. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. What are we even talking about? Where am I going? Oh, all these doors are open again. Now what, jerk off? Am I just almost there? You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. What if I don't want to do that? He said the door now what? Remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fuck you. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Okay. Nothing's happening here. I'm getting out. Okay, I'll go. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? Oh, it's ruined. You I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story, you've destroyed my work. I'm Why? sorry. For what? What did you get out of that? 
What did you YouTube think was views. so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. It has been ten minutes. Answer. What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I don't you to. fucking do it. I have to. No, you don't. No, you don't! What? What? I'm out. Oh, shit. What? Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. I'm what, sorry. Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. What? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm what the fuck sure was that? To the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is that supposed to happen? I'm just gonna go to the left. I wanna see that underground facility and blow it up and be victorious. Like he said, oh, this looks right. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer oh, it's there. the broom closet. This is where it was? Why can't I open it? Wait, I've already done this part of the story. Like the very first time I played, this is what I did. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I already know this, and it blows up and then I die. Fuck this part of the game. Oh, wait. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. Nightshock 115. Nightshock 115. It doesn't fucking work. Stanley spoke the code. Nightshark 115. He spoke mm. it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Are you saying shark or shock? Night shark one one five. Night shark one one five. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night shark one one five. Can you even hear me? Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. 
the he kind said of it. respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Eat my ass. When oh, he no. Into a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is that me? That's fucking Stanley? Stanley, Stanley looks like a dweeb. Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this edition of the Stanley Parable. I hope you enjoyed. We got a new ending. It's a pretty fun game, right? But either way, like I said, I'll be uh Is this actually the end of the game? I think this is the first time I've actually gotten... Or maybe another mini game or something. I don't know. I don't freaking know what's gonna be there. But there'll be something. There'll be a video. I will be here. We will be friends. Hopefully... You enjoyed the video here today. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, just refresh it and give it another chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have an 